Hello everyone, welcome back to Amy and Larry's Kitchen. Well today we're going to make a new recipe that I have found online. In fact, I was going to go ahead and let you see this. When I find these recipes online, I go ahead and print them out. And then I put them in a protective sleeve. That way I can have them around the meal that I am preparing without messing up the uh, recipe. So, if you can see that, we're going to be making a chicken pot pie noodle skillet. <clears throat> the chicken pot pie noodle skillet is a classic chicken pot pie transformed into a skillet dish with noodles instead of a crust. This is a great delicious weeknight meal. Actually, it doesn't take that long. This is the first time we've made this one, so um, I naturally prepare things as much as I can ahead of time to make the actual filming sequence that much shorter. Now, the first thing I have done is uh, in this recipe, it includes egg noodles. And I have already boiled the egg noodles. I've got them set aside for right now that we're going to need for this recipe. It says you need about a cup and a half of diced chicken. I don't worry too much about the amount of chicken. I just boiled two chicken breasts and I have sliced them up. And actually it's probably more than a cup and a half. But this is a chicken pot pie. So why not have plenty of chicken? Also, ahead of time, I have diced up one medium size onion. And these ingredients will all be listed down below the video for your future reference. <clears throat> We're going to need some chicken broth. We're going to need some peas and carrots, which is right there. And minced garlic. Plus, we're going to need some heavy cream. Now, one of the things that we've discovered this week is that you, if you do not have any heavy cream, you can make your own by using one quarter cup of butter and mixing it with three quarter cup of milk. So that's what we've done. So, the first thing we're going to do is we've already cooked the noodles. Now in a skillet, we're going to melt this butter. We need a couple tablespoons of butter or pats of butter. So I just take a uh, bar of butter and cut it in half. Like I said, it might be just a hair more, but then again, we're making a little bit more than what the recipe calls for. Now, let me turn my eye on. We'll get that going. The first thing we have to do is get this melted. It'll take a second. Probably would have been better just to melt it in the microwave first. You could do that. Make it a little bit quicker, but you know. We're not always in that big of a hurry. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that melt. <clears throat> and then we're going to stir in, while that's melting, the onion. Put that in there. We're going to take some garlic. And for garlic, it said two cloves of garlic. I don't have any cloves. I buy this already minced up. So I'm going to put a couple teaspoons of uh, garlic in there. I love garlic. One. Two. Those were healthy teaspoons in case you didn't notice. And then we're going to put the peas and carrots in there. Dump that right in there with it. It's already starting to sizzle. You can add more peas and carrots if that's what you want to do. We're going to start stirring this up. 
we need to let these onions kind of soften up a little bit. So it may take just a few minutes while the butter continues to melt. Uh, melt excuse me. So we will be back in just a minute uh, after these onions have had a chance to caramelize and uh, we'll go from there. Okay everyone, I have been letting the mixture of onions, peas and carrots covered with butter cook now for about three to five minutes. And uh, the next thing I am supposed to do is to add a couple of tablespoons of flour. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to guesstimate what a couple of tablespoons of flour is. And we're just going to add that right to it. Like I said, you don't have to be exact on these measurements because you're making the recipe to fit your needs. Uh, one other thing I did do, which is just, uh, I'm sure it's not enough, is I seasoned this with a little bit of salt and pepper. We'll be adding more, I'm sure. A lot of times I like to wait till we actually serve the meal, and that way each person can um, customize it with the salt and pepper to their own taste. Now, I've got that flour mixed in with the items. The next thing we're going to need to do is put one cup of chicken broth in this mixture. So I've got a half a cup of measuring cup here, so I'm going to fill that up twice, pour that in. Smells oh, good. Reminds me of a dressing that we make <clears throat> at Thanksgiving time. Alright, we're going to stir that up for just a second. that mix in and then the next thing that's going to happen is we're going to pour the heavy cream in over this that was one cup total of heavy cream now we're going to bring this up to a boil and then we're reducing it to a simmer once this begins to boil and what we're trying to do is to get this mixture to thicken up a little bit. It says it should take it about five minutes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let this get to a boil. We're going to turn it down to a simmer. And I'm going to keep stirring it. And then uh, we'll go ahead, in the interest of time, come back in just a minute when this is ready for the next step. All right, everyone, I've been letting our mixture simmer now. All together between bringing it up to a boil and letting it simmer, it's been almost five minutes. And I don't know if you can tell, but I can. It has thickened up some. Now, the recipe says to go ahead and add the noodles that you have pre-cooked and the chicken to the skillet. I don't have a skillet that, that, that is that big. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this frying pan and swap it with this pot. And the noodles that I have already cooked and drained, we're going to put right into this pot. There we go. The uh, recipe, I don't know if I said this earlier or not, called for a 10 ounce. 10 ounces of egg noodles. Well, the bag of egg noodles is actually 16 ounces, so I was not going to leave a partial bag of uncooked noodles. So uh, I uh, went ahead and did the whole 16 ounce bag <coughs> of noodles. And now I need to add my chicken to this. And that's going to really give it the flavor right there. And then last but not least, we're going to take our sauce 
and pour it over all of this. We're going to mix it up real good, let it heat the noodles back up, and we will be ready to eat. So, let me empty that out. We'll stir this. Be very careful trying not to spill it. And to make sure that it mixes in real good. I probably could have made a little more of the mixture. Since I'm actually cooking a little more of the noodles than the original recipe called for. But Basically what this is going to do is coat the noodles and then you've got your chicken in there too. So, we are going to let this heat up and then in just a few minutes we'll be back and we'll serve a plate of it and you just see. Alrighty, welcome back everyone. I have allowed this mixture uh, to heat up again mainly just for the noodles and uh, stirred it a few times to distribute the heat so what we're going to do now is just fix up a plate full you can see the chicken the noodles the peas the carrots the onions and right there you go a meal fit for a king so try this let me know what you think it's very simple to make doesn't require anything out of the ordinary. You should have most all of the stuff in your kitchen already. And uh, you can fix cornbread, you can fix rolls, if you want uh, a bread to go with it. A little more salt and pepper. You can even, uh, i tell you what I would consider doing, which I didn't this time. I'd make me a little chicken gravy from an instant chicken gravy packet. And then I could pour it over this plate if I wanted uh, more liquid so let us know what you think of it let us know if you would add anything differently we appreciate you all watching and if you haven't already like our videos subscribe share it with your friends and we'll be back pretty soon with a new video so we thank you for watching and bon appetit